forget to subscribe for more reviews. Please also like. Thank you. Hello there everyone, Tom here again. And today we have the privilege of taking a look at the Generation Toy GT11 Red Bull. This is their stylized take on a masterpiece scaled, uh, what was his name? Lambor, not Lambor, but um, ah, whatever the hell his name was. Uh, Sideswipe, that was it. So here's the front of the box, bottom of the box, side, side, back. Now this is actually a sleeve we can set aside and we get this really nice looking box. Now for those of you that are curious the box is approximately eh, nine inches approximately by about three and a half ish by about five and a half. The box opens up just like that and I don't know is Generation Toy part of the toy world conglomerate or I don't know but this packaging is very nice we get an instruction sheet here which oh hey we even get a uh, we even get a poster here Let's see if I can get all this in frame well, that's kind of nice the instructions they're not full color but they're multiple shades of red and gray so that's nice all right as, as I was saying here I like this foam insert I've always appreciated that uh, I know some people believe that the packaging isn't important me I, I've always been of a mind that if you like what you're doing, you should prove it to everybody by packaging it nice. And, and these are packaged very well. Let's see, spare parts, various different things we'll look at in a few minutes. We get beautiful foam. Um, that appears to be all that's in the box. Yep, just another piece of foam on the bottom. Look at that, folks. I tell you what, I, 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 I'm sorry. I know people knock the foam, but I really like it. I think it, it shows a lot of pride in the product. All right. So, let's take us a uh, look here at the figure. And out of the packaging, sorry about the squeak. Out of the packaging it is exactly like what you see so why don't I snap my fingers and get this thing into beast mode Poof. all right so right out of the packaging we've got him in beast mode here is his gun it is a stylized version of what I imagine the masterpiece one looks like it's got the palm in the hand things there we've got two pile drivers apparently they're not filled in all the way they're different and then we have these things right here which I'm not honestly sure what to do with them yet but we'll figure it out that was what was in the packaging <clears throat> pardon me so Let's take us a look at this guy. Let's zoom in here. Uh, I have to say, one of the hardest things I had to figure out for myself was how to get this weapon the way that it is. Uh, it, it, it folds around and has some hinges and it took a while, but I, I got it. So looking at this, this is plastic, this is plastic, this is plastic, this is beautiful gold paint. We have some gunmetal gray right here. Pardon me. Uh, we've got Let's see, this is gunmetal, gunmetal, that's plastic, 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 uh, plastic, that's plastic, so that must be painted right here. 
uh, the gunmetal, gunmetal, plastic, 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 uh, paint, paint, plastic, paint, paint. The top of the figure kind of looks like this. And the bottom of the figure kind of looks like this. So, let's see here. The horns articulate. They go all the way up. They go all the way down. However you need them to do to make it happy for you. The head can come all the way down like that. Can't really look up all that much. No, but it does have this hinge here, which if you notice, moves with it as it's doing it, which you can't see. The hinge moves as it's doing it, which is really neat. Really neat. I like that. The gun can swivel, but its hinge is very tight, so just be mindful. The legs, let's see here, let's zoom out just a tinch. They can go out to about right there. That's about as far out as you're going to get the front ones. They can go all the way around, as you would expect. There is a hinge here that lets it go all the way back and forward to that far. The toe is on a ball joint. Go down, up, and then I'm sure it can do a side to side a little bit. Usually when we get these beast things, they don't articulate the feet, so I do like that. Back legs can go, oh, that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it can go all the way around, too. All right. Um, let's see here. This bends all the way that way. And all the way forward. Toes are on the ball joints. So they get all that as well. This looks like a hinge. So, yeah, you could use that if you needed to. The last point of articulation is going to be the tail, and the tail's on this little hinge thing here. So it can go up and around that far, down all the way, and then it can go left and right. So, yeah. I think, uh, if I have not already done so, I need to show him in scale comparison with tire, uh, Tiger Track. I'm, I'm channeling Skullface, I apologize. Uh, sideswipe. This is Sideswipe. And as you can see, this is a very different thing from this. But, ironically, they're about the same length. <laughs> if, you, if you're looking at it the way I am, it's, it's about the same length. Isn't that something? Alright, so let's do... Scale compare. Oh, and I forgot to mention the beautiful eyes he's got painted. The brown, black nose. Does his mouth open? Yes, his mouth opens a little bit. Can you all see those teeth in there? Yeah, you can, can't you? Those are silver picked out teeth on the bottom. Isn't that neat? Alright, so why don't we go ahead and transform him. Uh, do scale comparison, and then we'll transform him. Are we gonna get in trouble with the sponsor? Rah! Do, 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 do. So transforming an old Red Bull or Sideswipe, if you will, here isn't all that difficult, but I will say it is, um, pardon me, challenging in some areas. I have gone ahead and transformed it once just to make sure I could actually do it. And I have to tell you, I was able to use the directions to do it. I think that's something that, that we as reviewers need to be mentioning uh, more regularly. Were we able to transform this thing with the directions that we were given? And in this case, I was. So, 
let's jump into it. First thing we do is we undo these. Uh, I'm not going to promise this is in the correct order. Undo this right here so that these come up. Uh, let's see here. That should now allow us to oh uh, and unpeg the side skirts here like that. That should allow it to open up like this. Now there are on the inside here do not know how well you can see it, but right here where this thumb is, there's a couple of tabs. You need to undo those tabs, and that will allow you to rock this down. Additionally, this little piece right here, I didn't show it on the other one. It tabs in right there. If you remove that, it will make it so much easier for you to untab this. Come in here and just apply a little pressure and this whole leg kind of opens up. Now, this rotates down. After we rotate this round, if I remember correctly. I don't promise to get this right, folks. As always, it's a, uh, it's a best guess for me. <laughs> <laughs> if I remember right, this goes around like this. This rotates up and over. This will come in and just kind of set however it can sit there. This is going to come down. This is the foot. Here is the toe, just like this. This comes in and you can see the, hopefully, the peg hole right there and the port that's going to come in right there like that and there's also a peg hole oh it's a screw hole and a peg right there so get that in there get that in there clip that back in right there this just kind of hangs out and here you've got the first leg finished it truly is just that simple so let's let's do that again we're going to bring this up Bring this down, rotate this piece on the inside all the way around. You may have to pick that one little bit up, but if you do, you do. Rotate it around, pull out your toe, pull this up so that it latches like that. Bring all this assembly down and if you've done it right, which I may not have, that should line up right there. That should go into that screw hole right here. And yeah, isn't that? Yep, that's pretty much it. And there we have the legs all done. Now for the arms. <clears throat> Pardon me. Unhinge these right here. Can you even see that? No, you can't. All right, let's raise up our camera. Pardon me. Unhinge these. They were just latched in right here. Unhinge them. All right, and rotate your arm around a little bit. This flap is going to eventually come up and cover this over, but we, we can't do that just yet. Come in here, and you can see the fist you can actually get a hold of the thumb and you've got to rotate it around this area here to get it to come out. This comes down. There are two pins right here that are going to go right here around the wrist. So rotate them down and they will actually snap in place when they're lined up properly. I promise you they do. There we go, just like that. And then that will come up. Rotate the arm so that the elbow works properly. Like that. Bring it around. Bring up your little flap. And there is an arm all done. Let's see if I can do that again. Uh, break this connection here. 
pull this out. This is actually the thumb that I'm pulling on right here, but it does it gives you enough clearance to grip. Then rotate this round. Rotate this around until it does what it's supposed to do here, which should be like this. This will come in and it will clip in there to those two little groove connections. There we go, snapped right in. That comes down, rotate that around, pull that up, move the elbow so that it works properly. And we're almost done here, folks. <clears throat> pardon me, pardon me. Now, open up your chest. Come back here to the back, pop that, pull that open. This is where the spudger comes in real handy. Pop it away from the chest here, and I don't know if you saw, but those little clips right there were in these two little grooves. You gotta go over here to this side. So, the chest actually, these two pieces can move. So lift them up a little bit, and he says lift them out like that. Do you see how they moved, how it shifted? It was sitting here on this, and now it's over here to this side. See how this other one is still flush right here? You can see in right there. This one is not. So, just out and over. Now, once you've got that like that, bring your bull head in. Lift these straight up. Bring the bull head in. And the bull horns are going to tuck in. There's little pockets right here. So just rotate the horns until they're pointing where you want them. Then, oops, missed. Just kind of line them up where they need to go and push them in. Just like that. Oh, it probably helps if you get the head out of the way first. And then just kind of collapse everything down. It should lock right in place. The head will come up. These pieces will come forward. These pieces have to attach to the back. So as they move in, if you notice they're going to come into the other slot the one beside the one that they were previously in. So, push that down. See how they've, they've locked in different spots now? Pull your arms down. You can see there's a pin right here. It's going to go into that port right there. He says, get in there. On both sides. Lift this back up. The final step is to Kind of extend this and put it over his shoulder, and it's it's not the the greatest thing I've ever seen as far as uh, moving that over, but it does what it's supposed to do, I suppose. And that represents Red Bull's transformation. Now, why isn't he standing? What's going on here? Hmm. Oh, I don't have the stuff in here solid. That's why, yep. There we go. Oof. I'm just not doing too well today, folks. But you know how I feel about this. If you see me struggling with it, there's a very good chance you may as well. So, that is why I show the mistakes that I make. It's not because I'm just too lazy to edit them. I've got a decent editing program. I show these things so that you can see what you yourself might run into. Or, as I'm getting older and I forget how to transform things, I can always look back.
back on my own video and say, oh, that's how I did that. And this is Red Bull all transformed up. Now, he's coming in at approximately, yeah, let's say, seven inches to the top of his horns, shoulder to shoulder. We're looking at approximately four inches depth wise. His chest is obviously the deepest part of him. Uh, let's call it two inches. <clears throat> Pardon me. Articulation. This thing here bothers me some. There's not much I can do about it. I, it's just the way it's made. There may, there may be something I'm missing. I grant that. Uh, I always grant that there's something I could possibly be missing. But I don't see what it is. So, uh, let's, uh, let's raise up our camera just a tinch and zoom in here on the figure. Now, as you can see, he has pretty, pretty blue eyes. I mean, they, they pop. They're so pretty. Head sculpt, eh, it's okay. I've seen better. We got silver here on the, on the horns. Uh, when my daughter looked at him, she thought he was Cliff Jumper. So I'm not sure how I feel necessarily about that. We've got paint right here, paint right here, paint 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 here. I think that's paint here. I think that's painted. Uh, that's paint, paint. This is not die cast. Uh, that's paint. Uh, paint, 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 paint. There's lots of paint on this fella. He's very, I really like him. As soon as I saw him, I said I had to have him. And went out and pre-ordered. And having him here in front of you all is the result. Um, I like to share. It, it's not a, uh, hey, look what I got. It's a, hey, why don't we all find out about him. Articulation. Head is on a swivel. Yeah, I think that's just a sw yeah. There's a, a pin right through here going through the whole head, so it gets up and down, and a little left and right. Well, it goes all the way around, but it doesn't wiggle any because it's on a, a swivel here. The arms. Oh, don't do that. Why you want to do that for? The arms can go up to right here, so he's not going to do the YMCA. Sorry, folks. He he's not going to do the YMCA. Can go all the way around no ratchet it, it just goes around oh you know what that might be part of the reason it's having trouble there is a bit right here i don't know how well you all can see it but it is supposed to rotate around and go in right there and that just helps secure everything i bet i missed that on both sides i bet i did that one's not missed it just didn't go in all right, that really secures everything up. We have bicep rotation right there. Arm is single jointed, gets you past 90 degrees, not by much, but some. The fingers, uh, this is as far as the fingers can open, right there. Uh, they're, they're pinned, they're always in that kind of position like this. The thumb is movable. It does move in and out. Uh, he can hold his weapon. Although I have to tell you, it, it doesn't, it, it, it's not going to go anywhere, but I take that back. Apparently it is going to go somewhere. <laughs> uh, to put on the pile drivers, all we do is just fold the fist back and this just clips in. Either, either this or this, they just clip in. There's no surprise there. The waist, he can do a full 360 with his waist, and he does have an abdominal crunch that'll take him all the way down to there. So that's something. Uh, I remember we used to do hips as the abdominal crunch when we didn't have one. We just bend them over. Legs, that's as far out as he's going to go. And let's see if I can. Ooh, that rocker is not the thing that makes me the most happy. That represents as far as he's going to be able to open his legs flat-footed, stand flat-footed. Okay, he has a 
thigh rotation built around the universal joint there. Double jointed knee looks very nice, well over 90 degrees. The feet, you saw the rocker, it can go forward a little bit. You do have a little bit of a toe tin hit hinge and it'll go back some and then you can you know cheat it however you want to with that hinge. I suppose now it's time for some scale conversion. Final thoughts wise, I like this guy. Uh, I, I have to have to tell you that square straight on going into this. I, I like him. I, I don't have, I, I know he's supposed to be like a Predacon or, or a Maximal or something, but I, I don't have any Maximal symbols. So this guy's going to get a clear Autobot symbol right there. I don't know how well that shows up, but uh, it'd be all right. So, actually that looks really bad. I need to do something else to him. I like the clear symbol, but I think that one may be a bit too big. The price of this thing, uh, I think I paid 100 bucks for it. Bought it at TF Source, had it pre-ordered. Uh, I, I know some people have had issues with TF Source. I have not. They've always been really good to me. Every time I ever needed a, something, they, they took care of me. So. That's not a shameless plug for them. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm just talking about my own personal experience here. Uh, the cost of it was a hundred bucks. The playability, it seems fine. Uh, it's nothing that you're going to write home with, saying, "Oh my God, I, I spent my vacation transforming this thing back and forth." You're not going to be doing that. But you, you, pr well, I don't think you will. But it is easily transformable. Once you get it down, it's not a problem. The... Crap, it's crooked. Very careful, I'm going to chip my paint here. Uh, cost, playability, and quality. The quality of this thing. I have to tell you, there's not a bit of die cast in it. So, if you're looking for... If you're one of those people that just has to have die cast in your figures... This is not the figure for you. Uh, if there's die cast in it, I can't find it. Everything silver that I see is paint. So, that's pretty close. Everything silver on it is paint. It's not heavy. It, it doesn't weigh anything like a, a masterpiece figure you would imagine. But, and it's a little bit taller than, you know, the... Uh, Masterpiece sideswipe, so that's something. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. Uh, it, it's got its issues, but by the same token, those issues are kind of mitigated by just how freaking cool the thing looks. And for me, I'll find a place for it on my shelf. So, this is Tom. Thanks for watching. I, I, I'm sorry, Nemesis. I completely forgot about you, didn't I? Damn it! I'm the star of the show! Besides, for a long time I thought he was horrible. And I wondered where the rest of the Predacons were. Well, I can kind of get that because he did kind of look like horrible. and um, Yeah, I, I could see his, this mold being used for a Predacon in the future. I'm not sure exactly how they would turn him into a foot though, but yeah, we'll figure something out. Damn it, you're being reasonable. Well, yeah, of course. Ah, quit touching me. Ah, quit it. I'm gonna go. See you folks. Next review. And thank you for watching my Papa's channel. Please subscribe and like. Thank you.
Are you tired all the time? Do you run out of energon for no apparent reason? Do other robots laugh at you and call you weakling? Do you feel like there should be more to life than what you are experiencing? Then you should try Vitamin John. It is the world famous Energon supplement. No steroids whatsoever. We all use all natural products. Steroid, I mean the Vitamin John can turn losers like this one. Hey. Poof. Into magnificent specimens like these. Hey there, big boy. You want to come over and see me sometime? <laughs> so try Vitamin John today. Operators are standing by.